What's up, everybody? This is a Fourth Crusade, and uh, yeah, we got a fun one for you today. We're gonna be doing a gameplay feature of dwarves, glory, death, and loot. All right, why don't we just uh, jump right in, check it out, start. I already have a, an adventure that I tried it out with, so we're gonna start a new one. Uh, it's gonna be, yeah, glory, that's normal. Um, here's a endless mode, we'll get to that. You're about to start a new game. Would you like to begin with a short introduction? No, we will not. That's a tutorial. That's what you got me here for. Uh, so yeah, basically we're gonna be starting with, uh, it's gonna be a new game. So yeah, uh, we start with a couple dwarves already that are gonna be part of our assembled unit. Um, basically as we go, we're gonna buy and collect weapons and armor and stuff for them to equip whatever we equip them with is going to dictate the class that they end up evolving into and turning into so you give uh, one of the guys a bow he turns into a ranger you give him a staff a mage uh there's different variations of all that depending on the item if you give him like a two-handed sword he becomes like a berserker guy etc so that's uh, that's a fun little custom uh, customizable part and putting your team together with that. Um, just right out the gate, uh, yeah. This is like a really fun indie game. We'll go back into the details of the developer and all that. Uh, it comes with a lot of different stuff of, you know, you can put your formation together, how the, the dwarves are gonna run out into battle. Uh, that's part of the strategy of it. There's a huge uh, skill tree uh, skill point tree that we could do as we develop our team uh, yeah here's uh, the tavern where you store different companions uh, for later use your storage uh, for your items uh, this is for crafting in the forge again there's the buds right there we might buy some later uh, yeah we only got 500 gold I'm almost thinking instead of spending it on an item right now uh just as we're starting out let's just get another uh, couple couple of dwarves uh be on our team here ew uh, okay this guy has a speed of eight we're gonna use him with uh being mindful of what we're gonna be doing with our team later we could use him as like a rogue type guy uh, so we're gonna do our first battle. We're, uh, our arch nemesis seems to be the orcs. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's just go through the first one and check it out. Okay, we're gonna slow, slow this down a bit. This is... You could speed up the time of it because uh, these do run a little bit long. But you can see that was it. <laughs> That's a whole game right there. Gets a lot more interesting as we go. We didn't acquire any loot. Uh, I believe these guys do get experience. Let's just continue on. Um, okay, so we got 270 gold. I actually want to buy that dagger because we're going to give it to this guy who's got the most speed. Okay, 8, 10, and 10. You know what? Let's do this. No. Yeah, and then I, I want to put that guy right there in the formation. That guy's kind of a jobber. He has low stats. He's just there to get beat up. Let's just battle the tougher guys right off the bat. You see we've got a couple of dr uh, dwarves. Now that it's slowed down, that you can kind of get an idea. Yeah, we're just building our team, and these guys are going to get tougher and tougher as we go, and we got to prepare for that. Um, can really explain what that is. So this is the reason why we're gonna just turn the volume up a bit on the speed. Bam, give me the loot. Got a dagger out of that. Cool. And now that we get a second dagger for our buddy over here, I'm pretty sure he could have two. No? No? Oh, uh, maybe he needs to just turn into uh, a rogue before you can do that. Well, okay. Yeah, you know what? He looks kind of badass without the helmet. We're gonna just roll with it. He's a rogue. He'll be fine. Um, 
Let's set up. How much gold we got? 260? That guy looks all right. Hey, that guy has speed at 12. No. Oh, shoot. Okay, so let's actually go sell. Um, where did we do that? Okay, you have hotkeys that you can put stuff in your storage. Um, okay, yeah, there you go. 296, perfect. Yeah, that's gonna be... He's gonna be on the team. All right. I'm actually going to give that guy the dagger. This guy, the spear back. He still looks sick without a helmet. All right, we're going to go. Let's just keep it moving. We're going to go through another battle. You see the the bars up top that represent, like, what the force is. You know, the just the HP bar. There we go. Doing pretty good. I think now's a good time. We're just gonna crush a few fights. Uh, I do want that. Let's equip that to our guy that's gonna be tanking. Get another fight going. Let's see how we're doing. Bam, battle. Bam, not a, not a, not a problem. Keeping it moving. Here's a knight helmet. Here's a divine staff. I definitely want both of those. I'm out of gold. Whatever. So, let me give the staff. I'll show you. We're going to give this divine staff to who has the most wisdom. I think is what we're looking for. None of them. You're getting it for now. Yeah. His intelligence is actually really high. Maybe it's intelligence. I thought it was wisdom. Either way, we're in good shape. You're gonna see this guy, he's gonna uh, do some priestly stuff. I believe he shoots a couple spells or he, he heals. Perfect. So. Uh huh. See, the enemies are getting a little bit tougher now. Good thing I got my healer back there. He's just doing his thing. All right. Did pretty good. We got 256 gold. Uh, let's see if we should reinvest into the team here. Yeah. In the beginning, all these guys are just kind of weak. So, don't really have a whole lot to offer off of that. Red steel shoulders. I want it. And you know what? What else you got? I want that. Hammer of Wrath. Let's get our, our, our dude set up here. Uh, and I'm pretty sure you could like name him if you wanted to. Yeah. Alright. This guy's the tank. Arbitrator. Okay. This guy, uh, when I run D&D campaigns and, and play him, this guy is actually a character, like, based off of a character now. So, uh, let's get out of here. Setting this up to be, like, a paladin-type guy. I'm gonna give the red steel shoulders to the front line. Very nice. You know what? You could have your helmet back so you don't get beat up too bad. Cool. Now we're cooking. Resume. Who do we want to fight? Let's see who's worth the most. So basically, I'm at the point since I'm crushing, I'm just going for the more. These guys had the most experience to offer. Another thing to be aware of too is that the fast, uh, the the stats really depend on the movement of the character and stuff too. Got a battle axe, cool. Someone's gonna get that. So like my faster units are gonna run to engage the enemy quicker than. 
the slower, tankier units. So they kind of get left out in the open sometimes. Uh, face off of that. This guy's not bad. I'm gonna get... Oh! It's all these trashy spears that nobody wants. You know what? This guy's getting that. Yeah, we're looking tough now. This is when the game starts warming up a little bit. We don't not have enough gold for that guy. It's unfortunate, but whatever. But as you build your whole team, the battles are getting harder. And yeah, this one looks tough. We're going to go for it. The battles get harder. Your team gets more developed. And uh, it really gets to a point to where everybody feels important. And it, that's where it gets fun, you know. You have to have your healing set up to support blah, 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 you know. All right, we seem to be doing just fine. That looks like a tougher batch of a poor... Oh, yeah. Sweet, we killed it. Um, okay. So let's see if we could buy anybody else. That, yeah, he'd be good. But we're not gonna do that troop. Um, Knight helmet. I'll take one. What else we got? Warblade. Huh. Claw shoulders. We could just let's just buy all the stuff. Wizard staff. I want that. Uh, this is cool. Now that we got a little cash, we could spend it. That's the reason why I've been waiting. Um. Copper shoulder pads. That goes to, I think, this guy. I could be wrong. Um, knight shoulder pads. That's what I meant. Do it like that. Cloth goes to that guy. You know what? No. It's supposed to be like that. You can kind of get, like, you know, everything's kind of like a set, too. And each set is designated toward like a different build so the knight and like this red one might be you know anyways yeah we'll, we'll get to it you'll see like the difference of like the sets as we go um who's worth the most this one bam yeah we're just crushing off the bat you can see the slower guy arbitrator who's gonna be our tank we're just gonna keep him like all throughout. He's just our hero today. So Arbitrator is the tank of the group, and then basically he runs the slowest. So we got a what do we got? Mithru, Mithru, great. Uh, wizard's hat. Yeah, hold on. Let's see. Damn. None of these guys are good. You know what? Uh, yeah, let's just do another one. Whatever. This one has the most bounty. We're going to get the most loot. Okay. So they have a healer in there. This guy's kind of obnoxious. Uh, in this case, sometimes I would designate a team to have more rogues for people with quicker attacks to try to reach them when they get knocked back. That's what the rogue is good for is once the front line pushes everybody back that is defending them, usually they're up for grabs after that. Okay, not bad. Got some more cash. Hopefully got a better ensemble of people here to pick. This guy's good at strength. We're going to take And that guy's a speed 11. That guy's also really good. We're going to keep... Oh, damn it. Okay. So we got two more guys to equip. Um, uh, that one was... Not the strength guy. Huh. This is what we're doing right there. Bam and bam. And then we're going to move that guy up right there. Looking sharp. Cool. We could actually shop around for some more gear. 
on the next run. Let's see how, so we got two new uh, recruits. Enemies are getting harder and we're getting more of them too. Okay, not bad. As you can see, uh, the two-handed builder, battle axe guy in the road, we're all trying to just rush and jump the, the enemies that are available after the first round is being knocked back. Yeah. Cool. Easy peas. Pretty simple game. You can see it. You know, I'm trying to elaborate on it like it's it's uh, Elden Ring, but it really isn't. Um, you know, this is really good to have the podcast on the background and you just give yourself something to do. I enjoy it. Uh, on that note, here's a couple different special items that we could purchase after every 10 victories. So we just went through the 10th level. Uh, we're actually going to do quite a few in this uh, demonstration here just to capture like you know most of the stuff you should see in the game but ring of restoration uh this one is instrumental for the tank uh you need it at least i do uh gold ore 10 speed uh minus 10 speed plus 10 weight earn 30 gold for each level the wearer has upon level uh that's Shit, that's almost as the best thing we could get, I think, too. Ten of resistance for ten seconds. Uses two per battle. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, no. So, it's one of those things of I would rather... I could give this to the tank and I just bank on gold or... I'm gonna find these later. You know, like you come across these pretty often later on, so I'm just doing one of these. Uh, cool, let's get some more gear. How much gold? We have 651. Ah, uh, I don't need any of that stuff. Hey, hold on a second. Okay, you know what we're actually gonna do? We're gonna save our gold and get the next tier of items, and that's gonna be part of our grind moving forward. We gotta save up and really good mechanic of the game too. And as we level these companions get, um, their quality gets better too. So let's just go for these guys. You can see I got my back line set up. I got the healer and the mage. Usually I have like two, three mages, a healer, uh, a rogue, and two frontline guys. Something like that. I believe you could have 10 dwarves all day. Okay. Hey, got another shield. That's a good thing to get. All right. So we got enough gold to upgrade our shop. We're going to do that. And let's see what else we got here. Sweet. Divine crown. I want one. Divine staff. Give me another one. Cool. So that's a good example of what that. Yeah, these guys suck too. Uh, upgrading the shop. You get new items. Right off the bat, we know that goes to the healer. Um, yeah, gold ore, we're going to give that to our brave, nope, nope, okay. Now, another cool mechanic here, as you see, I could be selling all this stuff, but we're going to keep it for a reason that will be uh, demonstrated here in a little bit. Pretty, another cool mechanic of the game. So we're gonna go for another fight. Looks like we're doing pretty good. Yeah, nobody's really taking any damage or anything. We can actually just start fast forwarding. You know, like putting these uh, on a faster motion for battles like this. Cool. So, got some mad uh, upgraded stuff that has. Uh, well, I got an achievement here. I didn't, I didn't even see that. Um, good quality equipment instead of normal quality. Um, we're going to wait on buying some of this stuff, too, because I'll just show you what... Hey, that's what we're looking for. Damn it. Okay. You know what? We're actually going to sell some of that stuff to make sure this guy gets in the group, because 
uh, as a mage, he, he looks really, really good. Um, so, how much gold did we get? 699, and this guy was 910. We got a raise. Claw shoulders. Steel helmet. Uh, let's just give that to the tank. Yeah, I didn't want to sell this stuff, but it's actually. Hope it gives us enough cash. Oh, uh, no way. Well, shit. Okay, that didn't work. Um, I'm actually gonna start plucking some stuff out of here. Okay, this guy had some terrible stats, so... Uh, uh, or was it that one? Yeah. Now, we're kind of just weighing out what exactly... So we got to raise 100 gold. And that looks like it's going to come from... We might have to sacrifice a gear of one of these guys, unfortunately. I really want to get this. Yeah, is he even worth it, though? Yeah, he's sick. Um, See, this game puts you in a pickle like that sometimes. You just, like, gotta... What is it, 55? Uh, 95. We can do it with this. We're gonna have to tough it without heals for a minute. And any good gear, let's just get it. We're gonna be all right. This guy, this poor guy, bum Rammy. Here, have a spear. This guy's in good shape right here. That was totally worth it to me. We'll find all that gear again. Like, it's not gonna be that big of a deal, I think. And watch this, we're gonna go for the toughest guys here. Let's see how we do it. Was that foolish to do that? We don't have a healer. I don't know. So, copper shoulder is great. As you can see, like, stuff is getting better quality, too. Here's a rare. Um, but we're honestly just going to grind a couple levels to reinvest into our guys that we have here. Uh, what's this? Copper physical resist that's going to tank. All the old gear gets repurposed. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're just going to keep on moving. We're going to be fine. As you can see, that new mage threw out a spell. Yeah, there you go. Excuse me. All right, getting geared up again. Getting better stuff this time around too. Divine shoulders, I want that for the tank. Uh, really close to getting, I probably should have looked at that first, but really close to getting, uh, upgrading our item equi uh, quality level again. That dude's a badass. Huh. Poor bum Rammy over here. A little bad for him. But, uh, I'm also gonna put bum Rammy over here in a different slot. There we go. Um, stats wise, Arbitrator right here was our first, uh, one of our first, uh, dwarves that we had, so. Inherently, he's going to have horrible stats based off of uh, the scaling and progression and the better dwarves that we're able to acquire and purchase. Um, that was a new guy. Yeah, that guy is 
going to be a lot better. You can see he has 38 intelligence compared to at level 3, compared to a uh, dude that we've had for a while over here that's intelligence at 21. Quite a bit different, and that's something to look at, you know, look for when we're purchasing these guys right here. Continuing on, uh, we're going to do one more and upgrade the, the shop. All right, not bad. Everybody's going to work and we're going to continue. Uh, nope, we're going to buy the next tier and we're honestly going to save our, you know what, let's just do one. Not even gonna buy that. We'll find better. Uh, we're gonna save all of our money right here. The two grand. It's actually worth it. And let's just go uh, for the sake of speeding up progression for the video. We're going to put all of our money into that stuff. So we're gonna crush until two thousand gold. The whole team's looking good. Uh, I do need a healer sorted out. Actually, think about it. Oh, oh, we got our first guy. Our first fatality. Damn it. And that was Bum Rammy. That poor guy, he died. Or was it? No, no, he's still alive. Um. Okay. Yeah, so let's just get a healer equip going real quick. Um. There we go. There you go, buddy. You can have your staff back. And here's your, your hat back. Now, we're in better shape. Let's go. Our team's looking better. Paul Marami, uh, he's the other. He, he's like the... The guy you didn't expect to be a hero that's actually a hero. Bum Rami over here, the, the dwarf. No, this is the second. The first one died. That's what happens. So he's the second. <laughs> I guess he did die. Whatever. Um, hey, we got a banner of war. These guys are pretty cool. You know what? That's, that's going to be his job. I'm going to rearrange the group a little bit. And... Wisdom and Intelligent, he's terrible for that. Um, not that guy. We're actually going to switch him out. Make him the healer now. That'd probably be better than old Bummy. And we'll just hold on to that. Yeah. He's going to inspire everybody now. Okay, and all these guys are kind of... I don't remember, but I think it is like every five levels there's some sort of increment. You get one harder challenge than normal. As you can see, that was super easy and a couple like a couple ago we were getting beat up. How much gold do we have? One more, we're gonna run. They're all about the same. Oh, we're in the green. We're in the forest, the green levels. Okay, not bad. Bum Rammy the second, looking a little low there. He's just being inspiring. Cool, we got a new staff we're gonna give to um our mage. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. I got another 3500 we gotta save. Okay, that's all kind of trash. We'll just see what else we got. That dude's not not a bad choice. All right, one more. Yeah, this one's uh, substantially harder. It's a 19th round. Oh, oh. Wrong rock tone. That guy's, uh, that guy's a killer. Arbitrator holding it down, leading the pack. And then uh, some of these names are, are really good. 
All right, look, so we just uh, we got to the 20th level. Um, okay, this is where it gets fun, too. Because uh, now we have where it's included that you can have intel uh, stats on level up and an additional benefit. This might be sick to give to you. Um, our mage or this would be incredible to give to our our tank and i'm almost i'm almost thinking we get it for the mage and we just uh we just burn a hole through these guys we're doing that i'm gonna hook up uh arbitrator our tank and hero um on the next batch of good good tank stuff that's available all right so hey okay let's see in our these guys over here they're starting to get a lot healthier looking the first batch looked a little uh you know not really that strong okay we're gonna go with this guy cool we got a new team member first of all totally inside right here it's gonna go to our mage that's been killing it um you know what i kind of we're gonna think about what we want to do with this guy. His stats are leaning towards wisdom, so I actually, I think I want to give him. We're gonna set him up with uh, the priest setup, okay? And he's a berserker, so we're his intelligence was higher. Yeah, we just got a whole back line of mages now. Let's just we're gonna hook that up. All right. So the after. Every 10th round, the levels do get more difficult. It seems like it. Oh. So we got this. Here's another priest staff. I forget what this one does. Yeah, this one does like an area effect heal, I believe. So we're actually going to definitely grab one of those. And this would actually be good. Like... We're gonna hook this guy up with it. Okay, and he's gonna be like a support healer while we have a main healer. Um, all right, let's continue on. Keeping it going. We're getting pushed back quite a bit. Uh, we got some newer enemies or they're stronger, but we're, they're able to not really get pushed back much. So that affects our uh, unit. Not bad though, got through it. Got some rare claw shoulders, why don't we equip that? And hook that guy up. Let's give that to... Uh, yeah. Cool. Anything in the shop, not really. We're still saving up for that 3,500. Oh, we're getting pushed around a little bit, guys. Okay, so the game does get a little bit more interesting in this aspect, where you have to reinvest into your uh, into your characters to prepare for stuff like that. I was getting pushed around quite a bit. Ah, man. Okay, I'm not gonna bother with that. I think everybody has shoulders. Um, nope. Keep it moving. 820. Let's go. Okay. We're, we're definitely getting pushed back, but we're not losing by any means. Like, it, the healing's working pretty well. And... Ooh! Good old Dar... Yeah. Anyways, yeah, we did well. Hmm. Haven't got a lot of loot yet. Okay, here's something we could do. Since we have three of the same item, we could combine them together and basically forge them to make um, this quality, or uh, the better quality uh, version of it. We're actually going to sell this. 
Wait, how much is it? Sell for zero. No, thanks. Yeah, we're gonna save it for... Don't really need it, but yeah, just save it for just in case. Whatever. Uh, next round. All right, not bad. We are taking damage now. A little, okay, we're doing better. Feelings are kicking in. I'm just keeping a lot eye on the general uh, life bar for all of this. But yeah, the, the healing is bringing us back up to where unscathed. Cool. Got some more loot yeah, for sure. All right, keep it moving. After like two more rounds of this, we're gonna go shopping and get a bunch of gear and upgrade the team. Uh, cool. Got a new axe. How much gold do I got? Okay, we're actually gonna go shop in a bit. Copper shoulders. Um, we are gonna kind of free fall our free for all, find a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, that thing's cool. Do you want it? The point being, because anything that we do want to pick up uh, duplicates of stuff that we want to upgrade. So this is explains why I'm just willy-nilly just buying a bunch of stuff. Um, so we do intend to use it to upgrade. Bam. All right, out of gold. We're going to get some more after that, too. Uh, yeah. So... That guy has the best version of that. Divine shoulders. Hook that up. Just about done. All right, thank God. Ah. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. So we got this battle we're going on right now. Uh, you can see the hammer does really good at knocking back those uh, troublesome shielding units uh, that have given us some trouble. Um, got some loot. I believe it takes a little bit of gold to buy more inventory spaces too. We're looking all right right now. We're gonna keep it moving. All right, there we go. And just for sake of uh, the video link, I believe we're gonna go just to like the 30th level, maybe 31. Is that 30 right? No? That was weird. Anyways, looking pretty good. We're kicking ass. Okay, this is fun because uh, the healers are getting so strong that they're able to heal themselves. Okay, cool. We got a new staff. Ultimate healing rain. I like this one. Uh, nothing in the gear department. We're going to take that staff and switch it out with that goofy-ass one right there. Um, I'm actually going to just sell that. I'm sick of looking at it. Everybody else looking sharp. I'm just scanning the inventory like that real quick. Get in there. Let's... Okay, we're at 29. Okay, how about this? We'll call this a deal. I'm gonna go to... Uh, level 35. And our goal for the video is to complete the group and kind of just get everybody set up and maybe even get a legendary item if we can but if not whatever anyways uh thanks for tuning in and checking all this stuff out we're gonna knock out the harder battle of the three the whole crew's looking pretty good except for bum Rami too the second is uh getting beat up pretty bad well Derry is on a, a, a killing spree right now not a problem. Nice. So while we're, where are we at with this? We got 68 gems. Okay, cool. So I'm pretty sure uh, we could do a bunch of uh, the skill tree stuff right now. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Like these two right here would be required to open up this class and in which a dwarf can eventually turn into. Um, with that in mind right there, uh, let's pick one out. So we have the Paladin. 
Unlocks Holy Shield. Paladins heal clo uh, close allies on block. Epic. This is what I've been going for. And, and in my other game, I don't believe I've reached yet. The Beastmaster uh, unlocks, unlocks Claw, main attack. Claw, offhand. Beastmaster uh, can summon animal companions to aid in battle. Also sick. I kind of really want that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's like benefits from warrior knight runes. Um, over here, cannoneer. Uh, unlock two-handed uh, cannoneers can do heavy damage and keep enemies at bay. Benefit from archer and thief runes. Yeah, compared to the other two. Okay, warlock unlocks unlocks a dark staff. Warriors apply fear to the enemy on basic attack. Fear reduces uh, damage dealt by five per stack, and basic attacks pierce through targets already affected by fear. Um, in my opinion, it having like a super sick beastmaster would be epic, but first priority has to go to healing the entire group with a. Uh, with uh with the paladin just sounds epic so what do we have to do uh 15 points in wisdom so i'm definitely not gonna have enough here to well i hold on how many do i need 13 14 15 i got 111 hey you know what let's go for it i love that dude hell yeah all right that's dope right there. I just got the, the Paladin. I didn't think I was able to do that yet. So, my apologies. Uh, let's put the rest to... I would need that many... Uh, what? It, how many more points do I need? Alright. I got three and I need 15. That's not bad. That was a great uh, idea was to check that stuff out right there. Poor Bon Rami over there. All right, let's go shopping for some stuff. What's this? Oh, because I had a victory in that. Uh, yeah, okay, so we saw that one. Yeah, so we beat um, every 10 levels. They give you an item like this. Amulet awarding. Okay, that's kind of whatever. What's a mug? Oh, man. That's that's definitely it. Uh, so definitely gonna grab a new shield. What's that? Assassin shoulders. I actually take one of those. Oh yeah, that thing's dope. I forgot about it. Uh, we got the dual axe. Let's just refresh that. Keep it moving. Yeah, got it. gonna get oh shit okay that's 12 to... okay now what we're starting to see we're that far into the game that we're gonna start seeing artifacts uh show up in our shop our random shop so if i had twelve thousand gold i'd buy one of those i don't yes i do want to re-roll dwarven helmet want one of those take one of those So you can see the set bonus it says underneath shoulders all too. It's dwarven set deals 25% extra damage against targets that have axe embedded in their nervous system. <laughs> okay. All right, we're looking fine. Actually, I'm not gonna use that. That's kind of lame. So, cool. After some detailing of the characters, we are looking good. Damn. Magic coming in clutch right there. All right, looking good. See, enemies are getting kind of tougher. Like some of these guys will have such high HP that the rest of their party will get wrecked, and we'll still have to spend equal amount of time extra to kill them. Watch, just watch. Okay, so we're going to give this uh, three more battles. We're going to get to 35 and, and call it, I think. Bam, here we go. 
Let's just power through this. We're going to do a couple more. Our team's already where it needs to be. Let's just keep crushing it. Looking pretty good in the health pools. Nobody's dying. Old Duffy. Looking like taking a little damage. Von Rammy, the second. Doing all right. Oh, oh, oh. Old Duffy on a on a killing spree right now. Nice. Easy peas. Alright, looking good. Got some knightly shoulders. You know what? Getting rid of some of that stuff that we don't need. Continuing on. All right. You know what? This is going to be the last one, so let's just take a look. That guy would be a good tank moving forward, but, uh, you know, we did demonstrate just about... Hold on. Is that guy a new guy? I don't remember. Either way, we demonstrated uh, just about what we can to do with the game. Uh, this is kind of inconsequential at the moment because this is uh, showing like different um, formations if we dig it into this I mean like it would just I would say like I would have the one that has like the mages in the back blah 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 or a ranged attack in the back I usually don't even bother with it that much or do it with this one right here. The Phalanax is really good at keeping everybody kind of close together without going too far. But, um, yeah, here's a uh, added bonus. This is pretty cool. We didn't look at this. Um, have at least three two handed melee users, warrior, war priest, reaper in your clan. Um, and we gain a bonus for parry, it looks like. Sick. Sorry guys, I didn't even notice that really. But yeah. Um, either way, you can see, I mean, like, we kind of just got absorbed into this game. It's like one of those, it's so simple that it's, uh, you know, pretty addictive to, like, kind of just, like, get drawn into you and do your character development and put everything together so you could challenge those later levels. Um, for this last one right here, we're gonna slow down the speed and kind of just enjoy it for what it is. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh! All right, everything's looking fine. We got some magic. We got the, the Phoenix spell getting shot out. Everybody looks to be in a decent HP. Haven't gone down more than a quarter so far. Everybody's looking fine. Yep. And guys. This guy is just about done. Oh. Got him with the dual wielder. That guy's sick. But yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, I do appreciate the time um, to check out. Let's see. We're going to go back to the main menu over here, show it off. Dwarves, glory, death, and loot. It's been a lot of fun. Like I said, this is really good, uh, like a good game to really just like throw a podcast in the background and just like kind of nerd out on for an hour or two. You know, as as you can see, we spent some time on it, just like nerding out on the build and everything like that. But uh, appreciate you guys coming to hang out. Uh, again, feel free to shoot a sub, like, comment below. Uh, appreciate you all, and uh, thanks again. We'll catch you next time. Later.